Hello, and welcome to this episode of Think, Learn, Do. Today we're going to be taking apart these RC cars and trying to make something useful out of them. So I found these at my local thrift store. I find them there all the time. The problem is, there's no uh, remote controls for them. So they usually work fine, just no remote controls. So today we're going to try and make these a bit more useful without the remote control. And we're going to be learning a bit about motors as well. So usually the average setup is, you know, we've got a motor up here at the front that drives the wheels, or that allows us to turn the wheels, and a motor in the back that makes it drive forward and back and whatever, and then there's, you know, a control board in there somewhere that gets the wireless signal from the remote control. And that's how it drives. Of course, then we found this one, you know, it's kind of different. Can't wait to take this one apart and find out what how it works. I'm guessing there's a motor up here and then it kind of feels like there's maybe a motor in the back, but we'll find out when we take it apart. So what we're going to do to make this more useful is we're going to open these up, rip out the control board, because it's not going to be much use to us right now because we don't have the controllers. We're going to hook the wires directly up, probably just on the back drive tires. And we can turn it on and it'll just drive forward, hopefully really fast. And that doesn't seem very useful, but they're pretty fun to drive, just as like crash cars, so you can drive them off steps or see if you can chase them down. And then we have a, a new idea. We're going to try and make a uh, Nerf target out of these. So yeah, it's going to be fun. No, it's going to be torn apart. So there's our battery compartment. A nice bonus on this one, it comes with headlights. Here's our control board, pretty small. Got a power switch right there. Here's the wireless antenna. So yeah, so the basic idea is, it gets the signals from the wireless antenna from the controller. This controller controls the, the wheels, so that goes and then turns. So we'll take this board out, and then we'll have access to the power back here, then that's probably where we'll hook directly into the battery. And then hopefully the switch will still work so we can just on and off it. And so there's the, the power lines, voltage and ground. Strip these ends here so we have access to these wires. And here's the other one that my assistant has been taking apart for us in the background. You can see here's our front motor, control board. And we still haven't figured out. Oh, yeah, there's, there's some wires going in here. You can, you can see those. There's got to be a motor in that wheel. That is such a strange setup. Okay, so over here I'm hooking up my handy down the uh, power supply. Okay, so we can see here, I hook up the power to these uh, motor leads. So now, I don't know if you can see how well you can see that, but depending on how much voltage we apply, it's how fast the motor goes, right? So pretty slow. Wow, that's got some speed to it. Now the interesting thing about these, so yeah, so however much voltage you give it is how fast it goes. Now the other interesting thing is is if you want to change the the, the direction of the, the the motors, you just Switch the polarity.
And now we're going backwards. I have to do this. So, let's show you how these foam ones work too. So I'm guessing there's a motor here underneath this plastic. Let's do those real fast too. Ooh, we can even hook up the LEDs and see if they glow. Yeah. Okay, so we got the motor leads hooked up, or this front one. So we should be able to see this. Yeah, see, there's our turn to the right. And supposedly if I switch these around, we'll get a turn to the left. Whoops. Apparently it doesn't turn to the left very well. Okay. I really want to see if these LEDs or these headlights light up, so just one second. I don't know the polarity on these, but it shouldn't matter whether they work or they won't. If they don't work, I'll just switch the polarity. It shouldn't damage them. Nothing. Look at those bright headlights. We should definitely hook those up. Okay, so here's our other one again. Sadly, during disassembly, we broke one of the struts, so I don't know if we'll be able to use this one for target practice. Oh well. Oh, there is a motor in there. Again, this control board looks like that's the antenna. We have our front wires here. Let's take this off real fast. Can we go to the left? There's the right. Interestingly, I think there's actually a spring in there. As soon as I take the voltage off, it strains them out. Which makes sense. And so, seeing as how we have one that's not damaged, I think we're going to try this one first. So interestingly, they were kind enough to mark on the circuit board how the power switch worked. I wasn't sure they were going to do that. Oh, let me get that to focus. So here's our VCC, which usually means our voltage, positive voltage. It comes around here, goes to this outer spot. Except I don't remember how it was sitting in there. Well, anyways, they marked it for us. So I'm guessing voltage comes in on one of these sides. And then when the switch is pushed this way, it makes the connection, I'm guessing. And the other way, the voltage is disconnected. Alright, that's got us. So you can see we've got the center post having the positive off the batteries and then the other side goes off into the motor. I'm gonna jump her here real fast. Make sure that's off. And of course, I'll do it backwards. And have our positive go to this, or the white wire go to this terminal. It's running backwards now, so like we just learned, just gotta switch around and get the other direction.
Yeah, we are in business. All right. You want to put a shell on? You want to just do without the shell? You can do without the shell. Okay. We'll just do without the shell for now. Do put our battery case back on though. We're ready to test it out. Let's go see how it goes. Go. 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 Pull. Oh, oh, that was a fairly successful project. Thank you, Paw Patrol Helium Balloon, for being our guinea pig. So, a couple of things we learned. That's really fast, just hooking it straight up. Next time, on the next iteration, we'll have to make it so we can control how much voltage the batteries are putting out so we can adjust the difficulty because, wow, that was really hard to shoot. Um, and then, another thing we should probably Mention this if you wanted this to be safer. We need to make sure you cover up these bare wires with some like electrical tape or heat shrink or something. And if we would kept the screws, well, we did keep the screws. We just didn't put the top back on. But if you keep the screws, you can put the top back on, and it'll look just brand new and awesome. So yeah, that was fun and a successful project. Thanks for watching.